So I was invited by a friend of mine that I know from my Kung Fu class to go see Kung Fu Yoga. He is an expert on martial arts films and he sent me the trailer for Kung Fu Yoga as an invite. I wasn't really sure what to expect going into this, but it looked kind of funny, so I figured, how bad could it be? Pretty bad, actually. Now, the fight scenes were not terrible, but some of them were kind of stupid. Especially the one where Jackie Chan and his nephew were fighting each other in front of a pack of wolves. And then Jackie Chan and his nephew ran off without actually fighting the wolves, and instead, once they got back to base, everyone started throwing snowballs at them. There were two fight scenes that were excellently choreographed. The one where they were fighting in the hotel over the briefcase, and the one where they were fighting in the treasure trove near the end of the movie. Other than the fight scenes, this was a nothing movie. Now, does anybody remember the movie Leatherheads, which was directed and starred George Clooney as the main character? Of course you don't, so I'll remind you. The trailer for the movie Leatherheads showcased things that I'm sure all of us thought were genuinely funny, so we all went to go see this movie thinking, oh man, this movie is going to be hilarious. But the secret that wasn't shared with any of the audience members that went to go see this was this. The only parts of the movie that were funny were all in the trailer, and the rest of the movie is boring and stupid. All these years of working for the Coen brothers and George Clooney does not know how to direct a good movie. But that's exactly the case for Kung Fu Yoga, because the trailer looked funny, but my god it was boring. And there were just a lot of really weird lines that were thrown into this. For instance, the really, really beautiful Indian woman said, Champion divers can hold their breath for eight minutes underwater and they practice yoga. There were a lot of things written into this movie that were tied to the title of the movie for no other reason other than it was just a piece of knowledge that not a lot of people know about kung fu or yoga. Mostly they were just lines that were put in for the sake of impressing us with their knowledge of yoga or kung fu and only because they had something to do with yoga or kung fu. After watching Kung Fu Yoga, I wondered what it was like being in the room with the filmmakers while they were deciding what to do, and I imagine that it played out something like this. At first, they started out with writing a Bollywood musical, but then they decided midway through writing the script to scrap that idea, and so they instead just started making a poorly written Indiana Jones-style Kung Fu movie with lame characters and a really shitty Bollywood musical ending. You might not believe me, but that's exactly what this movie was. Let's talk about the beginning and the end of Kung Fu Yoga really quick. The ending of the movie, like I said, broke out into some stupid Bollywood-style musical with no reason as to why they even decided to end with something like that. The opening was probably the most pointless opening scene I've ever seen in a movie. There was this weird CGI war going on, and Jackie Chan was rendered as a 3D monkey. I didn't even remember what the hell was happening in the war sequence or what they were even fighting over why they were fighting, or even what the significance of it was. I mean, it looked cool, but it really seems to have no significance as the movie went on, and by the end of the movie, I was thinking, well, what the hell did that fight scene have to do with anything? And even if it was significant in any way, I don't even remember the significance of it, and if you can connect the dots yourself, then good for you, because I couldn't figure that out. And like I said, it was composed completely of bad CGI, and I am so beyond thankful that I didn't have to watch any more of that than I needed to for the remainder of the movie, because that would have been unbearable. I do want to talk about the diamond, though, that was being tossed around throughout the whole movie. It was a very important item that was central to the plot, but I don't think that they put enough emphasis on how important the diamond really was. When they first discovered the diamond in the cave, my thought was, the gold they found down in the caverns was even more important because what's one diamond worth in comparison to the 12 chests full of gold? A hell of a lot more, apparently. And at the end of the movie, they found a huge gold statue. And one of the characters said something along the lines of, by discovering this, the amount of gold in the world has been doubled. They should have put way more emphasis on how important that diamond really was because I knew that it was important but I didn't realize how important it actually was until they discovered the statue. The directing was pretty fucking bad too. One thing that I found out, and this was an absolute surprise to me to find out, was that Kung Fu Yoga was directed by Stanley Tong. Now for those of you lucky enough to not know who he is, he's the idiot that directed Mr. Magoo way back in 1997. Mr. Magoo was one of the absolute worst movies I have 
ever seen. Even when I was a kid, I thought that movie was terrible. And you know, when you're a kid, you kind of love everything, but me, I thought the movie was terrible. And now knowing that Stanley Tong directed Kung Fu Yoga makes this even worse. And it changes almost everything that I feel now towards Kung Fu Yoga. Stanley Tong is a terrible director, and it shows that he, as a director, obviously doesn't know what the hell he's doing because he doesn't use his influence as a director to even make changes to the script that were necessary to make a good story. He probably doesn't even know how to write a good story for that matter. And you want to know how I know that he is a really bad director? He hasn't made a single American movie ever since Mr. Magoo came out. I know that doesn't explain how he still has a job in the Chinese film industry, but I guarantee you that Mr. Magoo is the reason for why he hasn't made an American movie in nearly 30 years. Because right now, Mr. Magoo has a rating of 9% on Rotten Tomatoes, for Christ's sake. And it just looks like Stanley Tong hasn't learned a fucking thing about making movies ever since he made that. Why is this movie called Kung Fu Yoga? Because there's Kung Fu and Yoga in it. That's it. There was very little that was fun about this movie. There was very little that was entertaining about this movie. And even as a comedy, this movie sucks. I think what would have made this movie funnier was if they had invented some ridiculous new fighting style that combined yoga and kung fu together. Kung fu yoga is categorized as an action-adventure comedy. I mean, look, I did chuckle a couple of times, but those moments were not laugh-out-loud moments. This movie sucks. I never want to see any movie made by Stanley Tong ever again. Fuck you, Stanley. Kung Fu Yoga gets zero stars out of five.